Lord Jones, a warm welcome to the Impact Executives Leadership event. Thank you for having me. Uh, we've, we've got over 200 business leaders and interim managers gathered here in West London to hear your insight on the business and the economy. Can you just very briefly tell me about what you'll be covering this evening? Yes, it's about how businesses, as the economy moves into its recovery stage, actually can take advantage of it and what they should watch for. And, and you know, we're not actually off onto the sunlit uplands of economic uh, uh, good fortune. Uh, what we're doing as an economy is bubbling along. It's not getting any worse. But you're not going to see unemployment appreciably drop. You're not going to see GDP go up into 2 or 3%. This is a year of battening down the hatches and doing what we do well. This will be a year, for instance, when there will be great calls on working capital and, and a lot of businesses will think, well, shall I actually pull the levers on more investment in kit or people? And they've got to watch that they do get uh, the working capital they need. And, of course, it's a time for being innovative. It's a time for investing in overseas markets. It's a time for thinking about those ideas and trying to make money out of them. Probably more than anything else, it's a time to carry on training people, skilling people, and, following whatever date the general election is, uh, making sure that we uh, get a government of either party, whichever it is, that actually works with the grain of business and not against it. You've gained a lot of experience of what works within business, both through your executive and non-executive roles. Well, what kind of advice would you give an interim manager brought in to, to bring major change within a business right now? When an interim manager arrives, of course, everybody working in it fears the worst. They're human beings. They feel insecure. They feel worried. And although people like good news, they actually prefer bad news to no news. And more than anything else, what interim managers should do is communicate, 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 and then go and communicate some more. Keep people informed. Even if it's bad news, keep them informed. And at the same time, work hard at a, and ensuring that why you've been brought in, which is change, actually takes place. The forces of conservatism with a small c will be everywhere. People don't like change. You don't. I don't. Makes you feel worried. You're used to what you do. You don't like people coming in and telling you how to do it differently. What do they know about my business? And so there's a lot of resistance, probably unspoken. And it's important that you do drive change through, stay firm to your ideals, set your objectives, make them clearly understood by everybody. Then make sure that the behaviour, both of yourself and others, is consistent with aiming towards that change goal and communicate why you're doing things because it's consistent with that change goal. And that's that, probably more than anything else, is the most important thing. And you can't start that early enough, day one, and never, ever stop it. And why are interim managers important right now? Actually, the market at the moment for uh, the decision to take an interim manager is, is, has got to be good as you come out of a recession because there's a bit more activity, you want some change. But are you certain that the market's there? Are you certain that the business is going to be okay? So you don't really want to go committing for big investment in the big ticket manager. And to have an interim manager for a short period of time to affect some real serious quick change can be a very, very cost-effective solution to an immediate problem. And finally, last year you became senior advisor to the, the Harvey Nash Group, which obviously includes impact executives. Can you tell me about what attracted you to the group? I've known Harvey Nash for many years. Uh, when I was at the CBI, they were a sponsor of many of the events, and they worked with us on producing quality events in various parts of the world. Uh, both uh, Paul Smith and Albert Ellis, I knew them for many years. I liked what I saw. I felt comfortable. The brand is well known, and, and I, I, of course, uh, as I go around the world working and advising with various businesses, I like those businesses to have a British base, I like them to have a brand that's recognisable, and I like them to operate in overseas markets as well. And, of course, it's a people business, and people are kind enough to say that uh, I work well in people businesses, and, and so there was a, a meeting of both minds, of culture, but also I think there was a meeting of brand, and, and I hope that uh, I can add some value and at the same time, of course, I'm learning all the time. So I hope that I learn and can uh, add a bit of uh, a bit to the knowledge bank in myself as well, I hope, to the bottom line of Harvey Nash. Lord Jones, thank you for your time this evening. My pleasure.